Louisiana Beer Reviews, Budweiser Select wins gold at the Great American Beer Festival 2013. Yes, for the 2013 Great American Beer Festival, Budweiser Select and Natural Ice won gold medals in their categories. Natural Ice in the malt liquor category, which they're calling cream ale these days at the festival. They used to say malt liquor. They use that strange uh, category cream ale and Budweiser Select in the American Light Lager category. This was introduced in 2005 and later on in 2009 they added the Budweiser Select 55 now known as Select 55. <clears throat> now this is an interesting hybrid type beer. They say that on the Anheuser-Busch website. It's a hybrid because it's a light beer 99 calories with 4.3 percent alcohol which is more in, in line with the regular beers. Uh, Bush beer is 4.3 percent, Milwaukee's Best is 4.3 percent, and so you're getting sort of like the best of both worlds. A light beer in calories, but a good alcohol infusion for those who want that. <clears throat> um, I've had the Select 55 before, it's so dull. <laughs> There's really no taste, and there's only like what 2.8 percent alcohol. So it's I don't see what the point is of drinking it. But um, if I want some refreshing, in that case, I'll drink water. But this one here is better. Now I I wanted to get a 12 pack of bottles, and they didn't have it at the store I went went to first, and so I went to Walmart, and they had bottles and cans, 12 ounce bottles and cans. But they only had the 20 pack of bottles and the 24 pack of cans. And the 24 pack was a little cheaper, $18.99 for 24, which is like $4.75 a six pack. And that's average, same price as Budweiser or Bud Light, really. Okay, so uh, this beer is not particularly popular, they, and that's because Anheuser-Busch is infamous for putting out a beer, giving it heavy promotion for a few months, and then totally ignoring it, <laughs> as they did with but dry, and then it languished on the shelf and died. And that's what's happening with this and with Michelob, not to mention Michelob. They used to promote the hilt, that to the hilt, and now, now it gets no attention, and they produce hardly any of it. Uh, now the Select 55, you'll see commercials for that occasionally, and that's sort of popular. Now they don't promote natural ice, but then they do promote natural light, or they say on the commercials, Natty Light. And so that kind of draws this in. And if you look on the Natty Light website, Natural Light website, they, they pretty, go into pretty good detail about the light, the ice, and the Natty Daddy. All right, well, anyway, now that this is one of gold medal, you might see more about it. You know, Budweiser and Isaac Bush might give it some more attention in bed. Uh, does have a born on date. August 21st, 2013. That's nice. Greg Spear Reviews always harping on that, and I can't argue with him. He's right. Why can't you put the born on date or best buy date? It's not hard. See, they did it. Easy, right? Okay, uh, this gets a poor score on Beer Advocate. The bros say it's poor. Rape Beer gives it a zero out of <laughs> zero out of 100. Um, and I can't, without even tasting it, I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had it out of the can. Um, I think this will be my first can purchase of Budweiser Select. Uh, big enough head? <laughs> well, it's an extremely thick white head, but you know it's going to fizz away. And it's a clear, highly filtered, light straw appearance. Mm. The aroma, just like Bud Light, it's very light, but you get some beer aroma, a little zing from the hops and the grains. But if you if you smelled Bud Light, and most people have, this is what you get. Mm. Wow, I have a drinking problem. Okay, um, the flavor. Same thing. It's Bud Light flavor. It's lightly, very lightly roasted malts. 
a little bit of happiness, and I mean a focus or emphasis on little, um, a back taste, you know, the aftertaste of the back taste of beer, standard American style lager beer. <clears throat> the mouth feels light and watery. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, and dry. Okay, now. For beer overall, yeah, it's average, I guess. It's dull, and you can say, okay, it's a C. I can't see how I could get a D, though. It's not bad. There's no off flavors, no off aromas, nothing off about it. But that's InBev, Anheuser-Busch, InBev, Heineken, Miller, Coors. You're not going to get any bad beers from them, okay? Um, you, may, you may not like them. I, I do, but... Um, their consistency and their quality control standards are through the roof, and InBev probably is the king of beers, right, for um, quality control. So um, that will not be done. You're not going to beat that. Um, for light beer, however, and that's what I want a gold medal for, I can see where the A is coming from. Okay, I can see. And they say gold means world class. World class. And I think this is really world class as far as light beers go. So I cannot disrespect this beer. If I wanted a light beer and I needed to lose weight, which I do not, but if I did and I was watching calories and I wanted some alcohol infusion, which is really personally not that important to me, <clears throat> it's actually not important at all, but I mean, I know some people are really big into the feelings they get from alcohol and all that, you know, but uh, this would be one to look at because it's just, uh, it was a clever invention. Uh, regular beer, alcohol, light beer, calories, and decent enough taste. So I don't see anything wrong with it. So if you've never tried it, I'd recommend it. So congratulations, InBev, Anheuser-Busch. You won a gold medal and you deserved it. And I know I'm already getting from the uh, natural ice, I'm getting people saying, ah, nah, nah, nah. The negative, you know, the people that go around, they cruise the, in you know what I'm talking about, they cruise the internet looking to say something negative, uh, but let haters hate, we're going to have fun with the beer drinking hobby, uh, so, laissez uh, les bon temps relay, another winner from a legendary company, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans!